y'all. It's your boy, my hair back again for another figure. And today is Monday, the first reaction of 2022. So I think it was a good idea to honor the legendary Betty White that unfortunately passed on the 31st of December 2021 at 99 years old. Damn, that's a long life to live. That is a very long life to live. She outlived all of the women. So, everybody is honoring her, like, on social media, TikTok, just replaying the most memorable moments on different movies and mainly on the Golden Girls. So, I thought it was a good idea to react to the top 10 most savage moments of the Golden Girls because them, them women were crazy. They were going crazy on that motherfucker. So, that being said, let's get right into it. And now, the right this side. It's 2022. We still deal with this bullshit. And now, with friends like these, who needs enemies? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten most savage Golden Girls moments. Before we begin, all right, here we go. at the disses, burns, and comebacks that any of the four lead characters has said to each other. I could vomit just looking at you. <laughs> Number 10, the prostitution cheap shot. I'm sure that we could settle this matter to your satisfaction. Forget it. I happen to be a married man. People often think that little old ladies are the sweetest people around, but that couldn't be more wrong in the case of Sophia Petrillo. Arguably the most venomous of the bunch. Even when she's trying to be helpful, she just can't help but get a dig in. Case in point, after the other ladies are wrongfully arrested and jailed for prostitution, she comes to the station to bail them out. Sophie knows they're innocent, and her reasoning is so savage when she declares, I know that I can't believe these dumb cops would think anyone would pay money to sleep with me. <laughs> Back in the day, they were going crazy back in the day like this. Shit. Coming from anyone else, it would have been too self-deprecating. But Dorothy pulls off a self-inflicted burn with confidence. Why don't I just wear a sign that says, too ugly to live? <laughs> Number six, the dog years burn. Unless I see you before then. I mean, if you wouldn't mind, maybe we could go out. Blanche Elizabeth Devereaux is known for romancing many men. And despite how much the other ladies make fun of her about it, she always tells 
tell some of her conquests. Gosh, I just don't know what I'm going to do. You know, he is a little bit younger than I am. He gives Dorothy the perfect bait after she shares her concern about her new boyfriend being five years younger than her. Instead of reassuring her friend, Dorothy takes the opportunity to throw down a savage burn. Then what, Blanche? Dog ears? <laughs> Quick-witted insult is so dismissive of Blanche's delusion that she can't even respond to Dorothy's comment. Ben chooses to move past it. And we gotta be honest, it's an insult he can't wait to use. However, I have decided to overlook that minor detail and succumb to the Vesuvius of passion that is about to erupt from me. Number five, the Mary Poppins gig. Do you think Blanche has been picking on me lately? Blanche is known for being a drama queen and for her fiery southern temper. Because of that, we often get some of the best jabs delivered in the most over-the-top way. Rose confides in Dorothy that Blanche seems to be mad at her. To prove her point, she says hi to Blanche. But instead of a simple greeting, Blanche comes after her whole life. Must you always be so cheerful, sweet, empty-headed Mary Poppins knockoff? Poor Rose barely even Damn! Confusion and Blanche's temper only make the scene that much more hilarious. Let me know if you notice anything. Number four. The backless kiss. Oh, Cinderella's back from the ball and her three wicked roommates are jealous. <laughs> we are not jealous, Ma. We are angry. Mother and daughter relationships can be a tricky thing to balance, especially when your mother is someone as feisty as Sophia. After Dorothy shows her jealous side, Sophia gives her some sage advice. She could have just stopped there, but then that wouldn't be the Sophia we know and love. So she follows up with Jealousy is a very ugly thing, Dorothy. And so are you in anything backless. We cannot imagine getting disliked like this by our own mothers, but it sure is fun to watch. Number three, another slut slight. There's something so chill about the way B. Arthur as Dorothy throws shade. While Dorothy, Blanche, and Rose are having dinner, Blanche insults another woman for flirting with the guy she's going at. Look at the shameless way she's flirting with him. When they call her out for being a hypocrite, Blanche insists that it's different for her to flirt. I'm from the South. <laughs> Flirting is part of my heritage. Her reasoning confuses Rose, but luckily for us, Dorothy explains it. And after she says it, she literally sits back and sips tea. Her mother was a slut, too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Now. What a boss. Number two, the temple takedown. The only thing they'll remember is the way you fall out of it. Oh, Sophia! If you ask people to color, half of them would say flesh tones. <laughs> it's pretty much a given that any time Blanche brags about herself, there has to be someone there to take her down. While Blanche and Rose are discussing the flu outbreak that's going around, Blanche comments that her body is like a temple. Oh, you don't have to worry about me, honey. I never get sick. I take very good care of myself. I treat my body like a temple. Sophia's passing through in the background, and without batting an eyelash, she snaps back. Yeah, opens everyone, day or night. Her comparison is so cold, and so Sophia, that we can't help chuckling at the sharpness of it. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Every little girl goes through that ugly stage. Yeah, ugly, yes, but this is ugly and fat. <laughs> I'll have to excuse my mother. She uh, survived a slight stroke, which left her, if I can be frank, a complete burden. Can I ask a dumb question? <laughs> Better than anyone I know. Number one, the underwear insult. The Golden Girls has no shortage of disses about Blanche and her promiscuity. But there's never been a better burn than the one delivered by Rose. When Blanche says this, Do you know what I hate doing most after a party? Rose gives the most innocent yet savage answer of all. Trying to find your underwear in the big pile? The way she delivers the jab is so simple and so straightforward that it's clear it was just a slip of the tongue for her. Good shade is effortless. And with this line, Rose proves that she is unnatural. Cleaning up the dirty dishes. <laughs> You twit. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. Wow. Woo. This is crazy. And this was all back in the day, like around, I have to say, I don't know if it, I don't know what year it came out, but it was back in the day, back in the day, like before 2000s, like. 
I'd say we at least around the 80s or 90s or 70s, somewhere around those eras. But they were going crazy like that back in the day. Like they would say some shit that it's like you would say now. But like back then, like shows were so like. They, they were not as cutthroat as they are now, basically. If you understand what I'm saying. If you if anybody that's watched me that was born in that era that, or was raised in that era, you would understand. Like, I wasn't raised in that era, so I don't know. I just know from certain shows that I have watched from back in the day. Like, I watched The Cosby Show. I've um, watched a, diff a Different World. Like, shows like that, they weren't going as crazy as they would go now. Like, they wouldn't be saying the things they would say. Like, these women were talking like they were, like, they were in 2021 or some shit like that, you know? It's like, now, you be hearing shit like that. But back then, you wouldn't expect to hear things like that. Like, the little one, Rose, I, no, it wasn't Rose, uh, Sophia. Sophia, you know, the, the, the little one with the glasses? Oh, she the craziest of the bunch. She be going crazy on the disc. I'm like, damn. And Rose... Betty White really was, she really was Rose. Like, Rose was, she's that sweet of the bunch. Like, ah, just her energy is just, like, positive. Like, nothing, like, I can't, I couldn't even get mad at Rose or anything like that so far in these clips. Because it's, like, almost every clip, Rose was just nice and friendly. You know, it's like, damn, like, that was literally Betty White. Like, Betty White was, she, now, she, she would, she would, she would clap back if she had to. Now, she won weak. She would clap back if she had to. But other than that, everybody knew her as that sweet, just positive energy. And it's just like, damn, I can't believe she's gone. Like, in 99 years, like, 90, 99 years old. She was almost about to be in her, in a hundred years old. Like, can we, can we just, can we just sink that in for a sec? 99 years old? Like, damn. Like, it's just, a, it's just, like, long, 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 amazing years to live. Like, she is not like, oh, damn. But y'all comment down below. If y'all want me to react to some more Golden Girl Savage moments, y'all comment down below and tell me how y'all feel. And, um... While I got y'all on here, let's just go ahead and take a moment of silence for Betty White. We got, we got, we got it. You know, we just, we have to, we have to show respect. So, let's take a moment of silence right now. All right, R.I.P. to Betty White. Hope you're resting in heaven. And you and the Golden Girls are sipping on some coffee. Or sipping on something else. We don't know. Hey. But um, hope y'all are just... Y'all are reunited, united and everything. And just still this and it's still just... Wild and crazy than ever. <laughs> All right. What I need y'all to do is I need y'all to like. I need y'all to comment. And I need y'all to subscribe. Hit that bell for notification for all the motherfuckers. Bangers. And I will see you in the next video. Deuces, nigga.